Hello and welcome to program 22 in this series of programs and tutorials that focus on TradeStation Easy Language. If you're not part of our email list, then please go to markplex.com and I'll be happy to let you know when I create new tutorials or release new programs. So today's program, program 22, builds on some work that we did way back in tutorial 23. And what tutorial 23 did was overlay on a regular uh, minute intraday chart or above boxes to mimic what a three line break would show. So you could see here, uh, for example, we've got three uh, or rather four, one, two, three, four red boxes. And if we were to look at the equivalent on a three line break chart, that would look like this one, two, three, four. Although, of course, on a three line break chart, those lines are. Uh, all those bars are all the same width. So having done that, what I what I then went on to do in program three was create a show me study version. And what this does is simply put a red dot at the beginning of a series of red bars, downward bars and a green dot before a series of green up bars. And uh, having done that, I also created a confluence type show me study and this looked for the uh, the turning points and discovered confluences of those lines based on three line break and you can see an example of that here on a 15 minute apple and i also created a strategy based on the line breaks so you can see an example of that here uh, also on an apple chart so what i was asked uh, by somebody on this email list was would it be possible to create a program that was resettable at the end of or rather at the start of a new day so that is what i've done here as well as making a few additional changes one change that i've also made is made it so that these boxes do not have the individual segments like they did in tutorial 23. so what i've done is modified the inputs and i'll just go through those now first of all i've added this thing lines on so if we don't have that then we won't see or rather if we set that to false then we won't see the lines we'll still see the indicator line at the bottom of the chart but we won't see the actual boxes drawn on the chart the number of bars break in this case we're using that to be three but you can modify that and then the daily reset now what this does is at the beginning of each day if this is set to true then we literally start calculating the three line breaks again and then finally thickness of the lines in the three line break boxes let's just change that to three so you can see what that does so let's just go back to the chart and what i've now done is reset so it starts a new three line break calculation at the beginning of each day and what I've done uh, in the markplex three line break is determine the how we start the day basically basically by if it's a down bar we start it as if it's a uh, a down three line break uh, rather a red bar and if it's a an up bar we start as a green bar and that's just the way that uh, that I've started the three line break so you can see here what the chart looks like if we reset at the beginning of the day if I change that back to false then we'll see how the uh, the lines continue so anyway th this program uses some of the uh, the principles that I used in tutorial 23 and if you're interested in the actual programming techniques I included several videos in uh, tutorial 23 for you to to look at but if you're interested in this program it is available uh, for download for a nominal fee at markplex.com that's m-a-r-k-p-l-e-x.com and uh, again if you're not part of our email list then also go to markplex and sign up and i'll be happy to let you know when i release new programs or create new tutorials thank you very much